Am I the asshole? For shouting at my friend when she was trying to help me? I'm 16 F and the second of seven, four girls, three boys. Our sleeping situation isn't ideal at the moment because because we live in a two-bedroom apartment. The girls share one room, and the boys share the other and our mom sleeps in the main area with the baby. I currently share a bed with my six-year sister, because my four-year sister is a bed wetter. Myself and my mom are saving for a set of bunk beds but it's a while off yet. Recently, one of my friend's parents weren't able to collect her after school, and since my place was the closest to school she came over. We went into my room, where my sisters were playing and she noticed the two beds and asked where I sleep and so I told her I sleep with my sister and when she asked why I told her. Well, anyways, she went home and told her parents who reported my mom to child services, who paid us a visit. They said each child needs a bed of their own and they'll be coming back twice a month for checks and stuff until we do. Me and my mom are now really stressed and I've been missing school to take extra shifts so the school phoned family services again which just made things worse. I ended up going into school and getting into an argument with my friend, where I told her she had no right to tell her parents and get me into this mess and that she was a cunt who needs to learn when to keep her mouth shut. She told me she was just trying to help me and I said she should have helped by not saying anything. She got really upset at me, told our other friends who now all think I'm an asshole. I too? Calling my mom shit or bashing me because of my mother's decisions is really upsetting to me and I'd appreciate if you guys didn't, please. Now I understand that from your point of view, your friend was trying to help, but you don't see her as helpful. However, op, I'm worried for you. Not because of sharing a bed with your sister, but because a family of seven is shoved into a two-bedroom apartment, and your family is dependent on the earnings of a 16-year-old. I need to stress this to you your living situation does not sound normal. That is why your friend told her parents and that is why they called CPS. If you are willing to share it, I would like to hear how your family got to this point. Nah. It sounds like she really was trying to help you, the only way she knew how. A teenager who didn't grow up with poverty isn't going to have the best set of resources for that. But you aren't an asshole either for being frustrated. I think the asshole is a system that allows a family to struggle so much that a teenager has to compromise her future by skipping school to buy a place to sleep. Are you close at all to buying those bunk beds? Would it help to get an air mattress in the meantime so at least you can show social services that everyone is sleeping separately? Nah you're understandably upset and stressed out but your friend didn't contact CPS. Her parents did. She has every right to confide her feelings, concerns, and thoughts to her parents. You don't really get to tell her that she can't. And your mom just had another baby, seriously? Someone needs to intervene. Op, the situation is going to keep deteriorating. And each kid having a bed doesn't sound like the only reason CPS is going to stop by so regularly. Keep in mind, what might feel normal or acceptable to you, might actually not be normal or acceptable. And you having to work to help support the household is woefully unacceptable. Struggling financially, then having six children crammed into a two-bedroom, and then having another baby, just blows my mind. The only ass here is your mom who keeps having kids she can't afford. The only asshole in this situation is your mom, she clearly needs some help, but to keep having so many kids in that situation is so wrong, and then you having to miss school to work? You are a child, your mom needs to practice safe sex. I think your friend did the right thing. Your mom clearly cannot take care of all of your siblings and they deserve better. And your childhood is being ruined by a mother that needs you to work and miss school to pay for things. You do need social services involvement. I know it's upsetting but it's not acceptable living standards for you all and your mother has had too many children to match her ability to give good care. Your friend did the right thing. I'm gonna say nah cause your upset is understandable but this situation is just not on. You sound very parentified. 
Nah besides your mom for having seven kids and obviously not being able to afford them. Do you actually think you do not need help? Girl, you're in a terrible situation, CPS is there to protect you and your siblings exactly from this kind of shit. It's not your responsibility to provide for your family, no matter how much your mom wants you to. Report this to CPS too. Tell them that she makes you work and it makes you stressed. You are a child here. You hear me? You are a child WHO needs help your mom is abusing you use the help provided your friend did a good thing for you, you don't deserve to live like that. You're the asshole your friend did the right thing. It may feel normal for you. But as an outsider I can say that nothing is normal about seven people crammed into a small apartment with a 16-year-old being the person who everyone is dependent on. That's a lot. Why didn't child protection provide any resources for beds? That seems like a legitimate way to help the children in this situation, instead of just scaring the family. The only A is the mother. Your mom is T.A. for having seven kids she can't afford. Now your friend and her mother only have a partial picture of your life and why you live the way you do. They were honestly trying to do what's best for you but they were a bit judgmental about it because your situation is unsuitable and they wanted to fix that. But they didn't know the consequences of their actions and what that would mean for you, so they didn't intend to add to your stresses. Keep an eye on free cycle and marketplace. Second-hand bunk beds come up all the time and then you'd only need to make sure you got a reasonable mattress and sheets. Damn, what a shitty situation you are in. Regarding your specific question why T.A. your friend has a right to talk with her parents about whatever concerns her. She cannot help that her parents contacted CPS. I think you also need to realize that even though it might feel that way your friend or her parents did not get you into this mess. The mess was already there before your friend came to visit. I hope your family can get some help. Nah. I can tell you have a really big heart and care for you family. But it is not your job at 16 to provide for that family. I can see why you're mad at your friend because this has added more stress to an already extremely stressful situation, however, your friend and her parents were right to be concerned and one day you'll look back and understand why they made that choice. Calling my mom shit is really upsetting to me and I'd appreciate if you guys didn't, please. Why post then? Jesus Christ this is a mess. Nah except your dad s and mom, dear major Raz. Not the asshole but I'm curious about which country has such a strong CPS presence that they can act so quickly and thoroughly, but the government can't give financial assistance to a single mother of seven. You're the asshole. Your friend was trying to help. Your mother is not doing her best if she had six kids already and chose to have another baby, while you were all jammed into a two-bedroom apartment. Where is your father in all of this? Why are you, a literal child? having to work and earn money to support the family. Do you understand how completely not normal and not okay your situation is? You are not. But neither is your friend. She acted out of genuine concern.